Hi, you well? Uh, one minute. So this lip balm, lip gloss, lip balm has a mint freeze on the lips every time you apply it i love i love everything minty and yeah it is from Laurent. i got it a while back and i love it i really love it another thing have you ever told you guys i don't own a mirror in this house sinaka kyo and it doesn't bother me i only use this small one that was given to me by frida uh, when i'm applying lip balm or lip gloss or the ones in that ones in the blue moon uh, moment where i am applying lipstick or the ones a year when i'm actually applying mascara that's only time i get used i mean and it doesn't bother me at all like i don't look at myself in the mirror when i'm leaving the house and i am okay like that because sour me but i hope you're well the reason for this video is not about lip balms and mirrors and peppermint uh lip balms with the uh, soothing Feel. uh that's what the reason for this video today i want us to go to kenya national library services i love how that place looks for the outside i hope the inside does not disappoint me i only see it on my way to town when i'm coming from rongai but today i want to go and sign up and become a member or be studying from there so it's such a, a nice place especially now that you're approaching the festive season and you know how the laziness for studying or doing work when it's around that festive season comes in it's such a nice place for you to go and you know get some work done you can actually go as a family mom and dad are doing their work on the laptop or the papers they're writing and the kids are doing their holiday assignments some are studying and if you have no school you can just read a book and if you're a parent you don't need to work on your laptop you can go with your kids and then you can read a book it's such a plot for the holidays, you know, staying in the house the entire day with pajamas, watching TV. I have nothing against watching TV. Please watch as much TV as you can. But I'll talk to you in the assignment. So it's such like a nice place. Even students in campus, uh, you guys know at times you forget what you've studied and you have to go back to school and start remaining ourselves. <laughs> I'll say my name last time. So you can take advantage. You can go to KNLS and study from there. So yeah, I want to go and check it out. I want to be studying from there and I definitely make good use of it over the festive season because yeah, in this institution, you cannot afford to take long breaks. Anyway, I am talking too much. Let us go to Kenya National National Kenya National Library Services. <laughs> Also not ready for that 
I was not ready for that. I didn't expect a Kenyan library, specifically a government library, to have so many books and to be that loaded and to be well equipped as the KNLS was wow. I, I'm not sure what I expected, but that's not that's not what I expected. Wow. Wow. Okay. We give credit where it's due and good job, GOK. Good job. Like wow. This is it. This is the information I got from KNLS. First, they open every day from 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday to Friday on Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to around 4.30 or 5 p.m. Uh, they have a wide collection of books. If you love reading novels, like you saw, they have a wide collection of novels. Go to the pre-teens section. They have a kids and baby friendly section with so many dolls and so many teddy bears and a wide collection of kids books if you love it when your kids are reading books that is a place to be yes yes guys they wow that was and they have events for mom and kids uh i think every third week of the month uh they're not as active on their social media handles but i saw if you they they told me they have such and if you it is 20 bob per day you go in and you read in the common area which is not so common because you have like a, a small space for us, you know the, the common areas in campus. Okay, not everyone has gone to campus. There's a, a, a just desk, normal desk where you have like a small like a cubicle on your own to do your own study. That's a twenty more. But if you need an exclusive space for you and your laptop and your ooh, laptop for you and your laptop to do your study or to do your editing of your videos if you're a content creator, it's a hundred more per day. One hundred bob uh per day. What else? If you want to borrow books. This is uh, for students who are in campus and in campus only. Uh, you get a stamp from from the school where you study. Like probably for me, I'll get a stamp from the Kenya School of Law so that I can be able to be borrowing books. It's still 20 bob and you see the books for as long as two weeks. Uh, this one is for students in primary school and kindergarten where uh, you give the details of the baby and then they need a stamp from the school. But if your kid is not in school yet, you're going to give us are you going to have it stamped by your employer as the parent and this is for people who are working uh, and you need it you're going to have to need you you'll need a stamp from your employer for you to be able to borrow books and it's 20 bob for two weeks and i think for the kids it's still free i'm not sure but i know for the kids class eight primary school i'm not sure cbc when ajita class eight you know what primary school for primary school it's free for the babies and guys during your during the holidays you can go there the babies will have the section you as a mom can either you as a parent let me not say the mom you as a parent can either decide to look after the baby or you can leave the baby with a nanny on the kids section you can go and work on your work that you carried home with you for the holidays as the parents and you can do as much as you want to for the teenagers if you have teenagers in your house they can read the novels around there and yeah they can do their holiday assignment it's such a quiet place and it is book friendly and studying friendly and everything quiet place friendly i love the place my mind was blown and remember i met a friend after that I was like whoa whoa, whoa knls has outdone themselves uh i don't think i have any more information on it they're not as active on their social media handles or as i checked instagram and they're not as active i uh, have i said if you need to read the novels only have to go to the pre-teens or the teen section that's why i saw lots of novels and trust me if i ever go missing and you guys are looking for me the first place you should look for me is up knls i loved this place it's so quiet the staff there are so friendly so yeah and then i went to town i bumped into a friend of mine who gave me a package uh it says oh it's cute shira jagrina uh happy you have a place of your own i hope and pray for uh for fun yummy times with friends and family in your new space uh and then her name and then just know if you show something that's supposed to be shown on the screen uh i will definitely not put it here but if it's something that i can't show on the screen 
me too well people from tanzania she's from tanzania she's kenyan but she relocated to tanzania a while back you know me too well we made it to our sixth Go! look oh thank you joan her name is joan thank you I am happy. I am one happy, but I'll throw this litter. Okay. I'll throw this litter away in a few. But thank you so much, Joanne. No feel like I should have breakfast. Yet, yet I just had water and biscuits, but now I feel like I should have like a proper, proper breakfast. But that's not gonna happen because I'm about to leave the house. Uh yeah, thank you for watching this video. And today's French word is a la potion. A la potion is see you next time. So yeah guys, see you next time. Thank you and it's been a delivery.